Hello. So good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the OpenStreetMap and Wikidata Workshop. My name is Eugene. And together with Edward, we'll be talking about um, OpenStreetMap and how it can work together with Wikidata. So as a show of hands, who here has an OpenStreetMap account? OK, some. So probably some, this is not new to you. But for those who are uh, not familiar with OpenStreetMap, uh, give an in introduction to OpenStreetMap and its data model. So basically, what is OpenStreetMap? It's basically a crowdsourced project to map the whole world. And the usual way we introduce OpenStreetMap to people is, is like OpenStreetMap is like Wikidata, uh, Wikipedia for maps. But actually, a more accurate way to introduce OpenStreetMap is that it is like Wikidata for geographical data. But that presupposes that the audience already knows or is familiar with what Wikidata is. And why do we say that OpenStreetMap is like Wikidata? And that's because both have quite a lot of things in common, both being crowdsourced and open data projects. So you know Wikidata, it has item statements, properties, etc. In the same way, OpenStreetMap has things like nodes, ways, relations, that have members and roles, and these have tags that are composed of keys and values. So as a more, uh, more detail, nodes, ways, and relations model the geometry and topology of objects. And then we have tags, which are actually key value strings that describe the actual things that those objects represent. So to give an example, here's the item, Wikidata item for Berlin. So we can have property like population, three million something, with a qualifier point in time and references. And they have counter counterparts in OpenStreetMap. So for example, the Berlin relation in OpenStreetMap has the tag population is equal to 3.4 million something. And it has the other, another tag, source population equals this URL and that date. So unlike in Wikidata, wherein you can have qualifiers and references for your statements, in OpenStreetMap, the tag is quite flat. Uh, there's no um, uh, secondary levels of tags. Everything is flat. That's why we have to put what we call secondary tags. So for example here, source, colon, population, to indicate that the population tag has this source. Another thing is that OpenStreetMaps tags are not strictly controlled, unlike with Wikidata, where you have to have approval process before the properties are created. Here, OpenStreetMap mappers can invent and add any tags that they like. However, there is a tagging proposal process in order to propose common tags that will be used by mappers all over the world. Okay, data modeling discussions on the Wikidata project chat page are actually quite similar to the discussions in OpenStreetMap's tagging mailing list. Um, for example, here's an example of a discussion on the project tag. How do we model building that has changed its use? In OpenStreetMap, we have similar discussions. How do we tag these sort of buildings? So I've given an introduction of what OpenStreetMap is. I'd love to uh, discuss it more, but we don't have enough time. So we'll go into how do we link between OpenStreetMap and Wikidata together. Um, I don't have to explain why linking is a good thing. We're all Wikidatans, and we know that linking data is a good thing. So how do we link? actually link uh, Wikidata with OpenStreetMap. So from Wikidata to OpenStreetMap, Wikidata items on places can link to OpenStreetMap relations using the OSM relation ID or the P402 property. So the question is, why only relations? That's because OSM IDs are not stable. For example, you can uh, change uh, nodes to represent a different object. Ways can be split um, to add um, new uh, information about those ways. However, um, relatively, relations in OpenStreetMap are relatively stable, at least for major relations, such as administrative boundaries, or highway routes, or public transportation routes. That way, you can link at least the, for example, here, Berlin Wikidata item can link to the relation representing the boundary of OpenStreetMap in OpenStreetMap via its ID. 
In terms of ontology, Wikidata items and properties for geographical features can link to equivalent, in quotes, OpenStreetMap classes using the OSM tag or key property. For example, the Lighthouse item in Wikidata has the value for OpenStreetMap tag or key tag equals man-made equals Lighthouse. That means that Lighthouses are equivalent to objects that are tagged in, in OpenStreetMap with man-made Lighthouse. Um, going in the, other, in the other direction, OpenStreetMap objects can link to corresponding Wikipedia articles and Wikidata items using the Wikipedia and Wikidata tags, respectively. So here's an example. The OpenStreetMap relation for Berlin, we have the Wikidata tag Q64, and the Wikipedia, Wikipedia article linking to the German article for Berlin. There are also several Wikidata secondary tags, such as, for example, brand Wikidata, architect Wikidata, artist Wikidata, or name etymology Wikidata. We use this in order to exactly specify uh, what we are uh, referring to. For example, on the top part here, we have the example. There's an artwork in OpenStreetMap that, that was created by the artist named Herakut, but who is that? So in order to specify exactly, we use artist Wikidata and that QID number so that you can be exactly sure which Herakut artist it really is. This is also useful, for example, if you're tagging, for example, uh, um, objects in OpenStreetMap that are in a different language. For example, in, in Japan, you might have a fast food restaurant called Makodonardo, which is actually McDonald's. So you can tag that with using the brand Wikidata tag pointing to the McDonald item in Wikidata. So in terms of ontology, um, we define and describe the tags in OpenStreetMap on the OpenStreetMap wiki. And we can add links to corresponding Wikipedia articles and Wikidata items so that we can sort of um, explain the correspondences and relations relations between these tags and um, items in Wikidata. Okay, so how do OpenStreetMap and Wikimedia use um, each other's data? So first, we have the interactive maps. So OpenStreetMap data powers the Wikimedia Foundation's Cartotarian map tile service, which is used by the cartographer MediaWiki extension. So basically, anytime you see an interactive map uh, or almost any interactive map on any Wikimedia project, that is usually powered by the Cartotarian map tile service. For example, here's the interactive map for Berlin in the English Wiki Voyage. So the base map there is all coming from OpenStreetMap. So another thing that the cartographer extension can do is it can pull and overlay geometry from OpenStreetMap. So here's the um, info box on commons for the Berlin category. And the map there, you, have, you can see an outline for Berlin there. That outline comes from OpenStreetMap. In 2008, the foundation released localized map tiles for Cartotarian, and these leverage the multilingual name tags in OpenStreetMap so that you can view those maps that you see on Wikimedia projects in the user's language. Then, how do we use Wikidata in OpenStreetMap? For example, um, when tagging brands, for example, in shops and uh, restaurants or banks, OpenStreetMap's name suggestion index uses Wikidata to provide brand identity and improve tagging. So for example, if you tag an, op an object in OpenStreetMap with brand Wikidata pointing to the McDonald's item in Wikidata, um, the name field is now automatically locked so that users cannot just change that to, for example, Burger King. And then you can, uh, the editor also pulls um, icons, the McDonald's icon there that is taken from the Facebook item uh, property in Wikidata. <laughs> so yeah. So that at, at least when users are tagging um, these shops in OpenStreetMap, they can be sure that they're doing it correctly. Okay, so Softbox is a SparkQL, a Sparkle endpoint for OpenStreetMap data. So this service can use RDF Federation to also query linked Wikidata items. 
So actually, in OpenStreetMap, we usually use other um, query services such as um, Overpass. But if you want to um, also query using Wikidata items, we have the Softbox uh, endpoint that you can use. And for geocoding, um, if you're not familiar with geocoding, basically that's the technology that um, wherein given an address, you are, uh, you are returned uh, geo-coordinates. So we have what we call nominatem, which is the usual service in OpenStreetMap for doing geocoding. And previously, it already uses Wikipedia tags in OpenStreetMap. But this year, um, we had a Google, Google Summer of Project Code um, to integrate using Wikidata tags in Nomenatem so that search results can become more relevant for users who are doing the searches. And for localization, um, Mapbox and MapTyler, which are third-party companies that extensively use OpenStreetMap, they use Wikidata to power their localized map products. So basically, um, if there are missing name, name tags in OpenStreetMap, and if that object is linked to Wikidata, they can pull the labels from Wikidata and use that to show multilingual labels if that is missing in OpenStreetMap. The reason for that is because um, we have a philosophy in OpenStreetMap that we do not try to add too many tags, especially if that can be automated. For example, for automatic transliterations, um, if that can be automated, we don't need to add that to OpenStreetMap. But in Wikidata, Wikidata, that's no problem. So you can do that uh, by doing this linking between OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. You don't have to do that um, trans, uh, transliteration on your own. You can just pull it from Wikidata. And uh, also, the OpenStreetMap wiki has the Wikibase extension installed. So the idea here is that we want the tag information or the description or the, uh, the description of the tags that we use in OpenStreetMap to be machine readable. Um, hopefully, this will be used by um, softwares and editors that use OpenStreetMap data to better um, see how objects are described in OpenStreetMap. Um, currently, this is not used as much, but hopefully, as the tagging information becomes more complete and better, this can be used by OpenStreetMap software, thanks to the Wikibase installation. Okay, some copyright and IP issues. Uh, Wikidata can't import coordinates from OpenStreetMap. The reason for that is because OpenStreetMap is licensed under the Open Database License. Um, and also we have conflicting doctrines uh, here in the, United, uh, in, in the European Union and the United Kingdom, we have database rights, whereas in the US, we have the idea that facts are not copyrightable. So we cannot just, uh, even though you cannot say, you cannot copyright the fact that this restaurant or this bank or this place is at this location, um, doing that um, in an, uh, as a as an import or as a batch job is not uh, allowed because OpenStreetMap is protected by database rights being hosted in the United Kingdom. Uh, conversely, um, OpenStreetMap will not import geodata from Wikidata despite the CC0 license because of data provenance issues. Uh, if you're not familiar with the how your coordinates are added into Wikipedia articles. Usually users just go to Google Maps, search, and then copy the coordinates that show up in the results and place that into the, into the Wikipedia articles. Um, in OpenStreetMap, we, we, as much as possible, avoid copying data from third-party sources that are proprietary, such as, for example, Google Maps. And because of that, we will never, um, in OpenStreetMap, never import data from Wikipedia and also Wikidata because most coordinates in Wikidata have been imported from Wikipedia. So it's an established principle in OpenStreetMap that we don't import from Wikipedia. Okay, I'll just then turn it over to Edward. Okay, um, 
Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the process for adding uh, links from OpenStreetMap to Wikidata. So uh, I've, I've written a tool for uh, automating this process, uh, like it's uh, user-assisted editing, so it's not a fully automated tool. Uh, it's available, anyone can use it. Uh, there's, there's the address. Uh, so when I, when I run the tool on Berlin, uh, it finds 2,800 uh, matches. Uh, so these are Wikidata items where it thinks it has found the same uh, OpenStreetMap uh, object. Um, so the, the, the matcher is using this criteria. It looks for things that are the same entity type, they've got the same coordinates, and then either they've got the same name, street address, or identifier. Uh, so with, with the name, it's doing lots of kind of normalization, like uh, lower casing, removing spaces, um, all kinds of bits and pieces to try and match up slightly different ways that you could write a name. And I'm, I'm looking at uh, names from different sources, like the labels and the aliases, but also the, the site links, the article titles, and I, I pull the, um, the anything in bold from the, from the uh, Wikipedia articles, so lots of sources for names. Uh, the, these are the identifiers that I'm matching on. So we've got lots of identifiers in uh, Wikidata. OpenStreetMap has uh, identifiers as well. So I, I've got a mapping between the, the name of the tag for the identifier in OpenStreetMap and the uh, property in, in Wikidata, and I look for things that have the same identifier. So um, the, my, my first version of this, I tried to completely automate it, and the OpenStreetMap community was not impressed. Uh, so better to uh, have a semi-automated process. So people uh, put in a place name, and then they, they see a list of matches, and they go through and they check the matches, and, and when they're happy, they hit save. Um, and, and the OpenStreetMap community is much happier with that. Like the, the, it does make mistakes, the software. It tries very carefully, but there's, there's, there are uh, errors in there. So you have to have someone checking them. Um, the, I've got a question of like, when I designed this, I felt like there should be a one-to-one -one mapping between things in OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. Uh, and it doesn't really work. Like uh, for my example, tunnels. Uh, often get represented as two objects in OpenStreetMap, one for each tunnel bore or each uh, road you know, like lane within the tunnel, whereas in Wikidata they tend to be represented as a single item. Uh, so I need to change my software to, to take account of this. Um, like, uh, and I have difficulties with uh, tram stops. So one item in uh, Wikidata for a tram stop uh, but in um, OpenStreetMap, it's represented as a relation with, uh, with um, nodes for where the tram stops on either side of the road. Uh, but I'm using uh, a piece of software called OSM2PGSQL to do the, uh, the OpenStreetMap side of things, and it doesn't really support these relations. So I'm, I'm struggling with tram stops. Uh, and so people are using this tool. There's almost 10,000 chain sets uploaded to OpenStreetMap. Edits on OpenStreetMap are, are grouped into chain sets. They're not individual edits like on, uh, on Wikidata. And I've got over 200 uh, users. And, uh, and using this tool, there's been a uh, quarter of a million uh, links added to OpenStreetMap. Uh, but overall, there's people uh, adding uh, Wikidata links by hand or with other tools. And there's now 1.4 million uh, OpenStreetMap objects with a Wikidata tag. Um, yeah, so that, that is our presentation. Uh, any questions? And, and just while we're taking questions, I'll see if I can do uh, a live demo of the tool. Any questions? I'm very interested in sort of surpassing this, uh, this license problem. And... <laughs> Uh, can you tell me about strategies can, that can be already used, such as that I understand that there are some contributions that are CC0, or that like the users could, well, whatever they are, that can facilitate the exchange of information between the systems? Uh, it's true that um, when you sign up to OpenStreetMap, you can tick a box saying, my edits are CC0. Uh, but the difficulty is that you are often editing something that somebody else has edited, and so you know it's difficult to isolate the the uh, the CC zero edits. Um, Maybe then, a, like a further question, like what can we do about that? Like, can we discuss? I mean, I mean, I think it has been tried, but I don't think it is necessarily doomed to fail. 
Well, the best thing that we can do is try to link items together using AdWords tool and other tools. Um, but um, for the moment, we just try to map these things uh, separately. As <laughs> maybe we can coordinate. Um, for example, if the licenses, if the third-party database that we want to import is compatible with both Wikidata and OpenStreetMap, you can do a coordinated import to both. But otherwise, um, we really have to respect the license, and because um, in order to, for, in order for OpenStreetMap to work, it really respects um, intellectual property and copyright. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is it possible to change the language of the background when you go to the, to the map? Because it appears the language of the local place that you are looking for. Okay, so for, um, in OpenStreetMap, we use the basically we tag the default name according to the local language of that place. So, for example, if you go to Japan in OpenStreetMap, you will see Japanese names. Um, you you cannot do that using the OpenStreetMap website, but there are third-party um, services or tile services that provide uh, multilingual maps. Uh, as I mentioned, there's Mapbox, there's MapTiler. They provide multilingual uh, maps so that you can use that instead of the default um, layer in OpenStreetMap. Um, Um, yeah, for example, um, well, um, we, um, currently OpenStreetMap as a project does not, um, no, no project to provide this service because, um, what the idea is that we provide the data and other people can build on that to provide the services that users will be able to use. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a great uh, project, uh, after all, to connect Hoysom and Wikidata. Uh, see, um, um, uh, in Wikidata, we have a lot of locations, uh, which is already coded, and it is a CC0. Uh, so, and, uh, and there are a lot of images, and a lot of other things are in Wikidata. So if we integrate that Wikidata queue items to Hoysom, then, uh, or uh, can we pull this, uh, all the other information from Wikidata directly to OpenStreetMap, any kind of tool or something like that? Or can we add a, an image uh, which is in commons? Uh, can we add the link of the image in commons to OpenStreetMap like this Wikidata ID? I, I feel like you don't need to. Just leave the data in Wikidata and uh, access it through the link. Like, just add the link from OpenStreetMap to Wikidata, and then if you want the images, you know, don't duplicate the data. Don't have the same thing in both places. Uh, and like Eugene was saying, that it, it's a bit tricky copying the data. It's true that it's CC0, but if we just start importing lots of data, then OpenStreetMap's going to ask what's the provenance of the data, where does all, all this come from? Uh, I mean, I don't know if Eugene, if you've got anything to add to that. Well, we, OpenStreetMap does have an image tag, so you can add an image tag pointing to a commons file if you really want to, but if you link it to, if you link it to the Wikidata item, you don't need that because the, Wikid the Wikidata item would probably have a commons category um, statement, and that provides you links to several images as well. You don't need to add that in OpenStreetMap. Can I just uh, show the, uh, this quick demo? This is the, the software that I've built. Uh, so I've looked up uh, uh, Orange County in Indiana. Uh, you can see I've already run the software uh, in 2017, and I added 43 elements. Uh, it guesses the, the language is English uh, by looking at the, the number of uh, languages that the Wikidata labels are in. Uh, and so the, the software has found five matches, uh, and it's got a list of matches with tick boxes. There's a map. Uh, I can, uh, it shows you the, um, the first paragraph from the Wikipedia article in the currently selected language. 
uh, if I say show tags, these are the tags from uh, OpenStreetMap, so it's matched, uh, the, the name is the same, it says it's found eight name matches, and it, it's a hotel which matches, uh, I can say show on map, and it, the pin is with the location of the OpenStreetMap, of the Wikidata coordinates, and it's matched this hotel building polygon, uh, so I can go through and you can see some others, there's a school, uh, it, it's failed with the airport. The airport is represented both as a node and as a way, and it can't figure out which one to use. Uh, so it isn't going to do the airport. Uh, here's, here's a historic bank building uh, that uh, it, it's managed to match. The, there's an old name tag in uh, OpenStreetMap that it's matched the old name with the name that is in Wikidata. Uh, and then it's also matched our public library. So if I click on the add Wikidata tags to OpenStreetMap, it gives me a change comment field where I could edit the change comment if I wanted, and it shows me the same matches again, and it hits save, uh, and it's edited the map, and it's added the uh, Wikidata tags to the map. It's actually not a question, but uh, I'll first thank you for this project. Uh, my name is Mohammed Hijau from Palestine. Uh, I am a civil engineer and I do some special statistics. Uh, a few, few months ago, a magazine in my country asked me to do some statistics on Nobel Prize winners. Uh, so for that, I, I used Wikidata Query Service and ArcGIS program for geographic information system analyzation. Uh, I extracted the place of birth for all Nobel Prize winners and projected them on the map using ArcGIS program. And then they asked me uh, how many of them, how many of the winners was born in the north ball, in the north part of the world, how many of them was born in the south part of the world. The problem here is that ArcGIS program is not free and I don't want to use it anymore. Can I uh, do these statistics using OpenStreetMap after projecting the special information of this? Okay, so the, uh, the problem is that what you're doing, what you're trying to do is what we call uh, geospatial analysis. However, OpenStreetMap is a data project. We provide data. And what you can do is, for example, take the data from OpenStreetMap, take the data from your Nobel Prize uh, place of births, and use a tool like ArcGIS, which is not free, but there's an open source tool called QGIS, which you can use to do that spatial analysis that you want. So you can combine, uh, for example, the boundaries for northern countries versus southern countries, put that in QGIS, then put your data with uh, the Nobel Prize place of births, and then do an intersection tool or a function. So yeah. So I think uh, we're out of time, and it's lunch now. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>